Parents in Franklin County asking the school system to respond to complaints about the special education program. They say children aren't getting the help they need and it's costing parents their time, money, and in some cases, their careers. WSLS 10's Rob Manch explains how the school board is responding. Parent Robin Mays says this is a battle she's been fighting for the last five years. As the county prepares to approve another annual budget, she's trying to make sure it includes new special education teachers and programs. May's daughter Maggie has autism, Down syndrome, and is deaf. She says there are no teachers to serve her needs in the school system, so she pulled her out. Doing that has taken a hard toll on her life. It's cost me my job um, because the school had a um, contract with my employer, and my employer told me not to abdicate anymore. And um, I have a hard time doing that because I have a child that has special needs. Mays wasn't alone in protesting the board Monday night, citing a Roanoke Times article that quoted Superintendent Mark Church calling the claims against the school system frivolous. Thanks to these parent complaints and help from Senator Bill Stanley from Virginia's 20th Senatorial District, the Department of Education launched a three-week investigation into the school system last October. The results of that investigation haven't yet been released, and School Board Chair G.B. Washburn did say Monday night that if the superintendent used the word frivolous when referring to parent claims, it was taken out of context. We reached out to him and the superintendent for comment, but have not yet heard back. In the newsroom, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.